peace to uh the goddess uh Nicole Lewis for um doing the uh doing the video on this subject earlier today, March the ninth, um Samuel Jackson's comments towards British actors. Um in this particular video I'm gonna be doing um I'm gonna be reading from two articles. So this video may be a little bit longer than uh most of the videos that I normally do. Um so if uh if you haven't seen the Hot 97 interview, I encourage everyone to go and look at that video. Um I'm gonna put that video in the description box. Um let's see. Um the name the, the, the title of this one, the title of this article. Is John Boyega slams Samuel L. Jackson's stupid ass comments after he criticizes casting of black Brits in um, African American roles. Um, now I've um, I've skimmed through this um, earlier today. Um, I'm just now making it. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, Samuel Jackson uh, has since defended his comments, saying he meant he, he didn't mean them as a slam against British black actors. Um, I also believe that too. After you've um, you've read what he said, um, I haven't watched the Hot ninety seven interview myself. But I read the um, the article for Hot the Hot ninety seven um, interview, and a lot of the things that Samuel L. Jackson was saying, he he didn't mean it. He shouldn't he shouldn't have even came out and said that he didn't mean it because if and and probably because the problem with um, I don't know about um, the rest of the world, but America has a real big problem at under, understanding. Overstanding is very difficult. But understanding a, a lot of a lot of people here in America do not have it. That's black, white, um Asian, um a lot of people in this country. About 90% of the people in this country do not have understanding. You know, but um they took, I believe they took his words out of context, just like in the other video I did about Emma Watson, uh, how the feminists of her own people, okay, took um, her words out of context and um, her um, her magazine cover um, or the magazine picture, one of the two. Um, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. John Boyega has uh, hit out at Samuel Jackson following his comments, which criticized the casting of uh, Black British actors in roles about African Americans. Um, the foyer began when uh when Jackson, who is currently promoting Kong Skull Island spoke to New York radio station Hot 97 about the choice of British actor Daniel Kaluuya for the lead role in Get Out, a horror movie about a black man dealing with racial tension from the family of his white girlfriend. Um, he said, John Boyega, wait, no, Samuel Jackson. This is what Samuel Jackson said. I think it's great. Get Out's doing everything it's doing and people are loving it. But I know the young brother who's in the movie and he's British. Uh, so there there are a lot of black British actors in these movies. I tend to wonder what that movie would have been with an American brother who really feels that. Now, you shouldn't. I shouldn't have to explain that. Um, Samuel shouldn't have had to explain that. If I was, if I had said that, um, 
it should have already been understood what was meant. Okay. Um, and I'm going to expound on that later uh, because um, he he gets, he gets um, you know, more into the, uh, the subject at hand. Daniel grew up in a country where they where they've been interracially dating for a hundred years. Um, what would a brother from America have made of that role? I'm sure the director helped, but some of the, some things are universal, but not everything. Um, following the comments, Boyega took um, took to Twitter to dismiss Jackson's argument, saying. Black Brits versus American, uh, African American, a stupid ass conflict we don't have time for. Um, now, it really doesn't dismiss Samuel Jackson's argument. Um, it's just saying that Samuel needs to shut up. That's all it's saying. Because actually what Samuel Jackson is saying is true. Um, the other article that I'm going to read, um, I I didn't skim through it. I just pulled it up because it was a story that I heard a, um, a while ago. And... Um, and I feel that it's a uh, an article that needs to be shared, you know, concerning Idris Elba and discrimination in the UK. Um, and I'm pretty sure that Samuel knows that um, that 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 black people in general receive um, discrimination and racism, overt and covert, some more than others, and um, the some more than others is us here in America, we receive the most overt, um, the most overt covert racism, um, than, than, um, than British, uh, or, or people from the UK would. I made a, uh, a statement in, um, Sister Nicole Lewis's, uh, vi uh in the comment section of her video that, uh, British actors, um, how did I word it? Um, I, I believe I said something along the lines of British actors are more, um, immune, um, more, yeah, more immune to, uh, racism than, um, black actors here in America. Okay. Um, they, um, uh, they 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 are actually like um wait it, he is going to talk about it uh, down down further let me continue reading um it says the act the actor wait here we go here we go the actor at the center of the row Kaluuya who you'll recognize from Black Mirror episode fifteen million merits I've never heard of that. Uh, has also indirectly acknowledged the comments after he tweeted, "Rise above your struggle." Um, now, I have a problem with that, being that you're British, and now I I, I don't know about British history as far as uh, slavery, um, and Jim Crow, um separate but equal um the the history that we had here in America I don't know if uh Africans uh, or black people in the UK received that kind of discrimination on a level like that um but you know it is it is what it is, I guess. Um, not so much, but rise above your struggle. F coming from someone who did not live here, who has no understanding of what African Americans have went through here, then 
you're you're you know better than the white person that's telling us uh pull yourself up by your own bootstrap you know um and i believe that that's what that word is saying right raise yourself up by your own bootstrap you know um and coming from daniel kaluuya you know it see it sounds like it sounds like he's uh one of two things either he's one of those black people who um who is fine with with racism who's trying to move a move through racism um as though it doesn't as though it doesn't exist or that um you know I'm not going to let it affect me type of deal or he's um arrogant it's one of those it's one of the two it's one of the two um either he's arrogant or he's the type of person who's who says that I'm not going to let uh racism affect me and um and racism doesn't Racism is not a problem. Okay? Because if he understood what Samuel Jackson was saying, if John Buega understood what Samuel Jackson was saying, neither one of them would have made their the comment that they made. Samuel Jackson was one hundred percent accurate in what he said. Uh basically what he said was indirectly was if 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 a African American would have played in these roles they would have gotten the same treatment as Nate Parker did for Birth of a Nation see 12 years a slave British actor Oscar nomination and won it See, a lot of these things people don't like to take into consideration because they don't want to be faced with the um, the the fact that racism exists and racism plays a part in their luxurious lifestyles. Um, Anyway, elsewhere in the interview, Samuel tried to surmise uh, surmise that why he thinks so many Brits are casting, getting cast in Hollywood at the at the moment with a british superman okay a british spider-man and a and an array of british actors in star wars and x-men movies um meanwhile other british actors in hollywood films surrounded race relations include the guy who plays martin luther king and selma and what i just said the guy who plays the um the you know the notable slave and 12 years a slave um he said british actors are cheaper than us check check that out british british actors are cheaper than us for one thing they don't cost as much and casting agents and directors think they're better trained because um because they're classically trained now, I don't know how true that is, but if 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 John Boega and Daniel Kaluuya know uh that what Samuel is saying is true concerning um how they are trained, then they shouldn't have said anything at all. Matter of fact, their mouth should have been sealed after he said that. Because it's just like classical music. Okay? Um or yeah, just like classical music, you're gonna say that now. What what the Caucasian considers classical music would be your Beethoven, Mozart, you know, people like that. Um, that um, that type of music would be considered classical music, uh, the best type of music, or the um, preferred music. It's the music that you listen to when you're on hold, you know, with the bill collector or, you know, just anybody. Um, 
it's, it's the type of music that is supposed to make your baby smarter. Okay. Um, while your, um, your baby mama or your wife is pregnant. Um, but just like that music is supposed to be the preferred music or the acceptable music. The same thing is going on in Hollywood that these in, in order for your movie not to be uh, targeted by America. OK, and this shit is starting to make sense because if American if American tabloids or American uh, media attacks British uh, actors that may cause some kind of conflict between America and the UK. Okay. And um, that's that's the uh, that's the end of this particular article. Now I'm gonna go over to um, to the um, Idris Idris Elba uh, news uh, news article. Um, and this one is titled uh, Actor Idris Elba Addresses UK Parliament Over Racial Diversity in Entertainment. Um, British actor Idris Elba has elevated an American uh, con conversation about diversity in Hollywood mm, to an international level. I didn't I didn't know I didn't know it was gonna be an American conversation. So this one right here is gonna be pretty interesting. I just heard about this. You know, uh I've I've i I'd never got into it. Um but I knew uh one particular part of what he was addressing was that there was still some kind of discrimination in the UK concerning uh Brit black British actors. Um the 43-year-old who was among a group of minority actors who were snubbed from consideration at this year's Academy Awards spoke about the issue before a group of British Parliament members on Monday, January 18th. Um, let's see, what year is this? This is January 19th of 2016. Um, according to an Entertainment Weekly, the Beast of No Nation star informed the British lawmakers that issues relating diversity in entertainment are not isolated to the U.S. Okay. So this may be the position that John Boyega and um, Daniel Kaluuya have concerning Samuel Jackson. Um... People in the TV world often aren't the same as people in the real world. And there's an even bigger gap between people who make TV and people who watch TV. I should know. I live in the TV world. And although there's a lot of reality TV, TV hasn't caught up with reality. Uh, change is coming, but it's taking its sweet time. Wow. Um, according to Elba, Elba, black actors in the UK are faced with a glass ceiling. Um, and he made the decision to move to the United States in order to compete for better acting opportunities. So I'm going to stop right there right quick and just address that, that last sentence. Compete for better acting opportunities. So. When when uh, Kaluuya, when he said, rise above your struggle, right? Was he saying that we're competing and we're winning? And your struggle, your struggle is seeing us make it. See, that's the, that's the, um, that is the, um, damn. Uh, <laughs> damn, what's the word? That's the conceitedness, the arrogance, 
Okay, that's the arrogance um, coming from Kaluuya saying that your struggle is watching us make it in your country. Okay. Um, and, and, and more so, I don't know what kind of person um, Daniel Kaluuya is, but I think that it was coming from that that perspective. Uh, rise above your struggle. You, you don't know what our struggle was, so our struggle would have to be, or the black actor's struggle would be watching British black British actors take their positions. Okay. Um, I was busy. I was getting lots of work, but I realized I could not. I could only play so many best friends or gang leaders. I knew I wasn't going uh, to land a lead role. Uh, I knew there wasn't enough imagination in the industry for me to be seen as a lead. Um, in other words, if if I wanted to star in a British drama like Luther, it, which is a, a good uh, show, by the way, uh, then I'd have to go to a country like um, like America. Um, the critically acclaimed actor then called for his British counterparts to reevaluate the way they portray black characters on screen. Um, are black people often playing pretty criminals, petty criminals? Um, Elba asks, according to BBC. BBC is British Broadcasting Company, not Big Black Cock. Um, are women always playing the love interest or talking about men? Are gay people always stereotyped? Are disabled people uh, hardly ever seen? Um, he further stated... Uh, this is what every young British actor asks me. Black, white, male, female. Uh, should I go to America to become a successful actor? And I'm always in a quandary because it's not always true that the grass is greener. The reason I went to America is because the, U the USA has the most famous diversity policy and all of the wait a minute back up the reason I went to America is because the USA has the most famous diversity policy of all and it's called the American dream now we know what the American dream is, and it only makes sense when you sleep. That's why they call it the American dream. There is no American dream. Now, coming from a conservative, coming from a conservative point of view, there may be, um, there may be, there may be an American dream. The American dream is being successful and not having to, um, not having to worry about your needs being met, um, and whatnot, but that's not the American dream. Um, that is um, everyone's dream. And coming from a conservative point of view, you could you could you could achieve that in any place on the on the uh, on the planet. Um, I believe that that's what the American dream is. That, uh, but. But that could be achieved anywhere. Um, let's see. Uh, the problem is the gap between the dream and reality. To champion diversity is to champion the American dream. Okay. That's what the American dream is. Um, so the American dream. Hmm. In his point of view, from based on his perspective, is living in a culture culturally diverse world without being stereotyped. It's not gonna happen. 
as long as white people exist, that is not going to happen. Um, now you have, you have, um, people who are saying that, um, who have this battle between, um, conservative liberals, um, who are saying that, uh, you know, they're pointing at the liberals saying it's the liberals fault and the liberals are pointing at the conservatives saying it's the conservatives fault. Um, hell, I forgot what point I was actually trying to make there. Um, but there was a, um, there was a YouTuber, um, who, who stated, yeah, that's what I was going to say. There was a YouTuber who stated that, um, that liberals are the, um, are the, the problem here in America and that the liberals are the ones that we should be looking over our shoulder trying to see, you know, uh, or trying to protect ourselves from where the conservatives are no different. The conservatives are just as racist as the, um, the white conservative is just as racist as the white liberal, um, concerning the American dream and living in a culturally diverse, um, um, living in a culturally diverse America, uh, that's, that's never going to happen because simply because white supremacy is white supremacy is the bread and butter of this country. Um, where is the British dream? Elba asked. Um, after addressing Parliament, the actor took to Twitter to call to call the speech the most important speech I've ever made. Um, fellow British actor David, uh, this is um, this is the guy who plays Dr. King and Selma. Um who was snubbed by the Academy last year, 2015, for his role in uh, of Martin Luther King in Selma, called for a radical and timely change in the Academy nominating process. Matter of fact, the same guy that plays uh, Martin Luther King, he plays in this movie, I forget the name of it, where this woman is having um, having problems with her boyfriend. And her boyfriend is being played by an American, a black American actor. Um, and he ends up, he ends up in jail. And um, while he's in jail, he doesn't know when he's going to get out. He doesn't know if he's ever going to get out. And he gets seduced and, um, and uh, raped by a, by a woman police officer while he's in prison and um he tells out of out of his heart he tells his his girl now they've been having problems and she's been trying to trust him and at this point when he tells her this she can't trust him anymore so what does she do she runs to this dude the british actor who was um who who plays dr king and selma she runs to him and she has a happily ever after with the black british actor Think, I mean, just just let that marinate for a while. You know, just I mean, really, just think about that. And I believe that this movie was made by um, the same woman that um, that did Thirteenth, uh, the Netflix uh, original, talking about the Thirteenth Amendment. Um, but yeah, you know. Um, and I believe that movie came out either around the either before Dr. King or around the same time as the Selma movie. But yeah, I mean, just think about that. Just think about that. You know, could could that movie have been a shot at um at at uh black men, black men here in America, that uh you need to step your game up and be like these guys from Britain. Are these guys from the UK? Um, I don't know. Uh, the Academy has a problem, said the 39-year-old. It's a problem that needs to be solved. 
a week ago, the Academy announced that all 20 Oscar nominations in the four main acting categories had gone to white actors for the second consecutive year. The announcement sparked controversy and numerous actors, directors, and other stars have pledged to boycott the February 28th telecast. George Clooney said Tuesday in an essay published in Variety that the Oscars are moving in the wrong direction. Um, critics of the Academy are using the uh, the tag um, Oscar so white. Okay. Um, and it says to what is this? Read a full transcript of Idris Elder's remarks to Parliament here. Okay, so I'm going to go here as well but I'm going to put this in the description box but that is the overall okay yeah I'm, I'm going to have to put this in the description box this is uh this is pretty long um so yeah I made this video pretty much uh I, I knew it was going to be long because I was reading from two different articles but Samuel is entitled to his opinion and I believe that his opinion is a true one I mean even just based off of the um, the movie uh, that I gave you um, I want to find that I want to find that movie but um, based on based on that movie with the uh, old girl and the and her boyfriend who were um who were having problems and she ran to the British actor or the British guy. As a matter of fact, he was a bus driver in that movie. Um uh, Ava Ava Duvernay. Did this even as a name? She made she made the movie, I believe. But um just based off of that, just based off of that alone. Is is a show of um, how the British the British actors are more more acceptable than um, the the British actors are more acceptable than we are. I mean, excuse me if I'm um, if I'm stumbling. I'm trying to find this movie. Uh, I want to give you the name of it. Um, and uh, Daniel Kaluuya with his uh, with his statement um, saying to raise your raise yourself by your own bootstraps basically um what I'll do I'll um I'll pause it I'll pause it while I um while I look for it. okay um the name of the movie is um middle of nowhere um and I'm waiting for it to load so I can tell you who's in it um I think it went back too far um yeah, the, the the name of the movie is Middle of Nowhere, and um, wait, I think the chick, because I can't pronounce her name to save my life, but the character that she plays is Ruby, but she's American, she's American, um, where are we, yeah, Omari, um, Hardwick, Omar Hardwick, who plays her boyfriend Derek, is from Georgia. She's from Kentucky. And then you have Mr. Um, Dr. King uh, from Selma, the guy who plays him. The hell? But yeah, um, I'm not going to make this video any longer than I have to. Um, British uh based just based off of you know little things that we see 
is it's the same as trying to prove um, that white supremacy exists to a white person. You cannot you cannot prove to a British actor at this day and time that that these British that these British actors have some type of privilege, even though that they are black, they have some type of privilege here in America. They are more received than we are. Um, that's just like Tyler Perry picking uh that Thaddy Newton. You know, um, I mean the 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 statement that Samuel made about British actors being cheaper. You know that 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 shit should actually um should have some weight to it. That should have more weight to it than anything. Because they're saying that Hollywood would rather pay for pay for a cheap nigga than a um, than a uh, more uh, than a than a more expensive nigga, um, and I'm guessing that's why the only like uh, black people that we're really seeing now, you know, in in um, who are American in movies is Samuel Jackson. And uh, Denzel Washington. Um, but yeah, that's you know that's an interesting thing. I'm gonna do a part two to this. Yeah, I'm gonna do a part two to this, so that it won't be as long. So um, yeah, the part two to this is probably gonna be called um, um, probably called British, Black British, um. Uh, privilege, black black British privilege, um, or something something along the lines of that. Uh, but I'm gonna end this video right here. I see you guys in the next video. Peace.